actually uh, entertainment session. And we would like in this session actually to highlight some of the aspects of the newly actually uh, developed uh, Wikimedia research and development ecosystem in, uh, in Africa, my continent, as I am from Tunisia. Yeah, so this project actually is a part of the adapting Wikidata to support clinical practice using data science, semantic web, and machine learning project. All right, so how this will work? Actually, there is a quiz of eight questions. We'll see how the audience will get answers. And actually, we will provide the explained answer, so that's all. Yeah. So actually, question one, how many African countries are involved in Wikimedia research and development, according to you? Ten? Ten? You can, uh, you can, we can, who says ten? Raise his hand. No? Twenty? Yeah, the answer on the side. Twenty? Ten. Ten. Yeah. The answer is thirty, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, uh, actually countries from eastern, the eastern coast of Africa, are actually very involved in, in research. Actually, this starts from Egypt to South Africa. All that coast actually is uh, highly involved in research. And that's because they are, there are some policies in Kenya, in Rwanda, in that region, actually, and in Egypt and in South Africa, that encourage AI uh, research. And as Wiki, uh, Wikimedia resources, Wikipedia, Wikidata, are free resources, so they are using that. And that's why there is an increase in that region. And there are the classical countries that are doing research in computer science. So there are Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco, and Nigeria. They are classical countries that do research uh, kind of for, for decades now. There's also Ghana, Mali, etc., that are actually uh, doing some computer research thanks to collaborations with the UK, with France, etc. And on the other side, actually, there is a community called Africa Wikimedia Technical Community that includes actually uh, communities from Tunisia, uh, from uh, actually uh, Kenya, and from actually uh, the African coast, actually Ghana, Nigeria, uh, kind of. So all these countries, and uh, this is uh, mainly linked to the work that has been done by uh, the Open uh, the Open no Knowledge uh, Foundation, uh, West Africa. So it is a, uh, a foundation that has been created a few years ago, mainly by Felix Narti, and uh, it involves Wikimedians. And they are interacting with the developers community in, in, uh, in these countries in Western Africa so that they, they can be involved in media wiki development, in uh, wiki data, mainly script development for Wikipedia, etc. So the question number two, as we are talking about the creation of the African Wikimedia technical community in Ghana, when ha this has been created? That's question number two. There is 2016, 2017, and 2018. 2016. Who says 2017? 17. Yeah, it's 17. <laughs> yeah, and actually, as I said, that, that is a work of Felix Narti and Bersid Bozali. And actually, they, they bootstrap uh, this at uh, the Weekend Daba conference in, held in Tunis in 2017. And actually, they, they kind of establish uh, good relations with open science communities and uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, with, Google, uh, with, uh, with computer development clubs like Google Developers Clubs at universities. So they are doing, doing a very excellent job. Yeah, so the question number three, actually, as there is a community, can you name five active African developers working on Wikimedia project? And most of us, <laughs> and most of us, we say no. So 
that these are actually five active developers that actually some of them are in Wikimania this year. So you can meet Mahiton. Mahiton is from Benin and he, he was from that community. But after that, he was recruited to work at the Wikimedia Foundation. And now he's among the staff of the Wikimedia Foundation. He is doing some really excellent work uh, regarding uh, MediaWiki, mainly development, APIs, uh, all the stuff related to MediaWiki. And there is also an Derek, who was the first to, uh, to participate at the Google uh, Summer of Code. So there are some other people like Egbe Ejin Akbar from Cameroon, Sam Oyerele, Nigeria, and Abel Bula that are mainly uh, working on Wikipedia script development and some, and now they are shifting to uh, Wikidata related development. Yeah. So where is the most productive research institution working on Wikimedia projects? Tunisia. Tunisia. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So actually, uh, our research unit is the one doing that. And it is located at the University of Sfax, Tunisia. This is our headquarters, actually, as you see on the right. Well, we were informally working since 2011, actually. But we, are, we were recognized in 2021 as a, a nationwide research unit that, that, that is not 2012. Uh, actually, we have now, thanks to Wikimedia funding and the Wikimedia Research Fund, we have the headquarters and we have a data center that can work uh, distributed computing, some fancy machine learning stuff, uh, and some DevOps and DevOps. So we are kind of good in, in things like that. And we have 29 research publications around Wikimedia research as per Scopus. So if you see YouTube, we have a presentation at uh, the Wiki workshop of this year about what we do, how, how we work on that. And there's also the URL uh, that you can check. There's also our business card where you can find the same, uh, the same QR code uh, involved with the URL. Yeah. So actually question number five, do African countries integrate the forefront of Wikimedia research and development? And I think that's a pretty simple question, actually. The, the answer actually is no. They are behind the scenes, actually, and they are mainly depending on uh, collaboration. So as you, you can see, they are, they are co there are quite uh, recent efforts for the integration of the African countries. And they are mainly dependent on international collaboration initiatives particularly like the ones with Wikimedia Deutschland, etc. So mainly occurred uh, thanks to collaboration with the BRICS country, which is quite surprising. So the, the countries that are mostly contributing to Wikimedia research, like Germany and like the United States of America, were not the, the people that pulled out uh, African countries to, uh, to work on Wikimedia research. They, these were BRICS actually countries like Russia, uh, Russian Federation, Brazil, India, China, and South Africa, because it is in Africa. <laughs> so that's quite evident. And we have quite a poor productivity of African countries. So unfortunately, that's the situation. So if you see here, actually the blue nodes here in the map are the old one. And the yellow is the new one. So if you see here, this is the Wikidata Research Collaboration Network. If you see here that Germany, Italy, the United States actually uh, joined later. So all these have traditions in Wikimedia research. But when it comes to BRICS, they are quite recent. They, they came first and then they grabbed the African countries later to work with them on Wikimedia related research. Yeah, so what's the main target Wikimedia project for research and development e efforts. It is Commons, Wikidata, Wikipedia, and Wiktionary. 
Well, the answer is Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, that, that uh, our, our work as a research unit, actually, among the 29 pa papers on, on Wikimedia research, we, we actually have around 13 or 14 related to the Wikipedia category graph alone. So at the, around, around nine now, we have nine published paper around, around Wikidata only, around all of Wikidata with all of its features there. So uh, that's quite uh, a thing. Yeah. So why is Wikipedia actually? Actually, Wikipedia uh, have plenty of open source uh, codes online. If you go to GitHub, for example, you have 2.9 thousand uh, GitHub repositories, open access on GitHub, reusing Wikipedia. This includes libraries, kind of scripts, etc. And we have 12.1 thousand scholarly publications according to Scopus. Particularly, there, the Google tech giants, the tech giants like Google, like IBM, develop Wikipedia tools and are not involved in Wikidata development as it should be. There is a huge interest from research institutions all over the world, and there is a small involvement of Wikimedia volunteers. And that's why if, if the community uh, in Africa is there to establish uh, some, something, uh, it will not help. And that's why they, they go to BRICS actually to get some help to bootstrap uh, Wikimedia research at that instant. And that explains in part how, how, how Wikimedia co community, uh, we as a community are separate from the, the research community because we, we, we don't have the, the people who, who have the double helmet as Wikipedia and ad researchers. Yeah, however, concerning Wikidata, uh, there are 36.2 uh, GitHub repositories, 945 publications, and it, it seems that it allows better engagement of Wikimedia volunteers and affiliates research and development related to Wikidata. And that's why we find a lot of Wikimedians that do some successful research work in scholarly publications related to Wikidata and not related to Wikipedia. So it is growing, but actually we need, actually, if, if we want the Wikimedia, Wikidata research to grow in Africa, we need some collection between the community that masters in some way Wikidata and, uh, and the, the research community and government within the triple uh, helix uh, collaboration framework. So, well, question number seven. What is the most efficient governance of non-profit Wikimedia research and development communities in Africa? So there are three models actually for uh, for for no for the ki kind of management of uh, of non-profit research communities in Africa. There are the top-down governance, and all of are working with Wikimedia Research, by the way. Yeah? But uh, there are the top-down governance scientific societies that have chapters, working groups, etc. We have the self-organized distributed governance, what is called the grassroots, and there is the affiliate governance, which is Wikimedia affiliate that has uh, a subgroup related to, uh, to research, to Wikimedia research. So which one is the mon more effective in Africa, the most? <laughs> Efficient governance, number of papers issued uh, through one of these collaborations, number of grants ha that have been issued by the Wikimedia Foundation, etc. So the answer is indeed the grassroots. And if you see, for example, Masakana here, 
Masakana is the African grassroots community uh, for NAP research, and it had been awarded the Wikimedia Foundation Research Award of the Year in 2021. And they have been funded this year, actually, for a project at the Wikimedia Research Fund. So I can upload them with good luck. <laughs> yeah, the second one is Sisonke Biotech which is the African grassroots community for medical machine learning research. And we have been establishing as data engineering and semantics research unit to collaboration with them. And we have been funded the project I, I have evocated in, at the beginning of this talk with quite $50,000 uh, as well. So last question. Well, is the African artificial intelligence community interested in Wikimedia research and development? In general, we, we talk about the, com the computer science community in general, not the Wikimedia one. How they perceive actually Wikimedia research and development? And the answer here is, of course, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have done a bibliometric study actually uh, around 90 pages about uh, biomedical machine learning to see what are the main topics that, uh, that are evocated by African researchers related to this topic. And we have seen that uh, most of them uh, do not interest in open resources at all, not only w Wikimedia projects. And we have seen that uh, they are mainly interested in, in working on raw data I do some few short learning, some, some kind of trendy things like, uh, like neural network uh, learning, like decision trees, like, like some internet of things, uh, thing, thing for patient monitoring, etc. So all things are mainly about, uh, about actually processing raw data and not about uh, doing things using on semantic analysis, which is actually the, the good thing about using uh, Wikimedia projects. Actually, why is that happening actually? Because using benchmark uh, rather than open resources prevents the users actually uh, to go through pre-processing. As you know, Wikidata or Wikipedia are, are community-generated resources, and it, they may actually include some mismatches, and they, they don't like to lose time, actually, because, and because this is technically challenging, and because, actually, as you know, that, uh, that the training of PhD students is not that, uh, that robust enough, actually, uh, to go through this side, actually, work uh, to achieve the goal of their PhD uh, journey. So that, that's, uh, that's the main thing. Yeah, so I hope the session was actually kind of light. Uh, I did not take much of your time. So this is my contacts. You can actually find my, uh, the business card of myself and the head of our research structure uh, at the back. Uh, on the left, so you can you can search them as well. Thank you. Yeah, has anyone any question actually? Yeah, yeah, go on. All right, sorry for you. you this for the yeah, thank you for the very pres interesting presentation. Um, yeah, it was uh, new to know that so much is going on in Africa. So really, thank you for that. My question would be: um, you, you are you were focusing on AI, uh, or uh, is it so you, you can exclude all other research which could not directly be related to AI? That's a good question. Actually, the, should I ask the second question? Or? Yeah, yeah, go on. The second question would be. Um, where did you publish your publications and uh, did you have some quality measures or how, how did yeah, you yeah, master yeah. that? Thank you. Yeah, the first question actually, 90% of the research 
around around Wikimedia in Africa was actually related uh, to computer science. That's that the thing. But there are there, there is Peter Gallert. I have seen him today from the, he is working in Namibia as well. Uh, so actually, he did some work. He did some work about the social perspective uh, of the contribution to uh, uh, to Wikimedia research. But that that's one person. He published actually around 10 or, or 11 works on this purpose. Concerning the second question, actually, uh, we published in highly referred journals. So myself, actually, I have a paper published in Journal of Biomedical Informatics. I have a paper in Semantic Web Journal. I have a paper in uh, PRG Computer Science. Yeah, they are peer reviewed. They are high, high because I, <laughs> I'm not a fan of impact factor, but they, they, <laughs> they are supposed to have a, high, a very high impact factor. So, so they are good papers. Uh, any question? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so if you don't have any other question, yeah, go on. Uh, how do, thank you. How do you explain that African uh, researchers are not interested by the Wikimedia project? So. Yeah, uh, that's because per, first uh, the, uh, the, the, their topic of interest actually, their own languages are not well represented in Wikipedia. And if they have to, to actually do some NLP stuff with, for example, uh, uh, Yoruba Wikipedia or something, they need a lot of pre-processing. And actually there are some benchmarks that are quite easy to, uh, to process. So actually they go for the easy path and, uh, and that's all. So that, that's why actually we don't have the, that thing. Yeah? At the previous slide. Previous slide. Yeah, I quite <laughs> understood very well. I, I'd, a bit, I'd like to know better. Uh, you said that the, the raw, raw material they have, so they have to uh, delete noises and some type of works they require. But yeah. Wikidata actually is structured, and I think it, it, it could be a material for the training. But you said that, so I, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. So the the work that is done you know, on machine learning in Africa is mainly is mainly uh, considering the noise inside the input data. So they are they are putting all the thing inside the input data set and they are processing it and that's all. So so raw stuff raw, raw with a very a very huge uh, archi machine learning architecture and that's all. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I will leave the floor to James. Thank you.